Okay. Well, this is ODQ. Back from a Thanksgiving break. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta take some water. Um, I'm back. And I am not in Linux. <clears throat> uh, I can tell this is going to be one of those. I am in Windows. I'm using the recording capture for gaming that is part of Windows. Uh, and I am irritated that it is a better experience than Linux. I ditched Linux uh, because uh, Darkpaw is, which is the section of Daybreak that is responsible for EverQuest, the EverQuest IP, is going to update it from this 32-bit version that you see before you here to a 64-bit version that I am I'm relatively sure it's going to be a very modest graphic improvement because they don't have the resources to spend a huge amount of time to make massive changes. Um, but nonetheless, it's them entering the world of the last, uh, what, 15, 20 years or whatever it's been, <laughs> finally, and about 15 years, I think. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, and I wanted to be ready. I didn't want to go through the pains of a massive, very game-changing, if you know, uh, update like that and try to shoehorn it into Linux before any really good support kind of came. And I didn't want to have a really, really long break. It's been, what, about a week and a half or something like that since I haven't put up anything. So um, this is something that I didn't want to have go on for, uh, I would say, two or three months would be the absolute most hopeful amount of time before some really, uh, before some bug fixes or you know, before some fixes were released out for the, for the uh, more normal people like myself. Um, I know a thing or two, but I don't know coding very much. And uh, it's going to require a lot of script, script altering and stuff like that, that, uh, frankly, I just, you know, I don't have the skills in and I don't have a huge uh, desire to participate in. Anyway, um, I am, so because I had to switch from Linux, I did, and, and I reinstalled Windows on my laptop, and I had to reinstall EverQuest and Hearthstone, my that card game that I play, back onto my machine. Uh, with in regards to EverQuest, I had to start from scratch. So I took my main character, the way dark ne uh, necromancer uh, character that I play, that's my really my main, and I had to reconfigure his stuff all over again. Now, to, truth be known, I didn't really have to do that. If I would have thought <laughs> to back up some INI files, which are usually just setting kind of plain text setting files for various games, if I would have backed up some of those, <clears throat> I would have been fine. And I wouldn't have had to do all the work that I had ended up having to do. I forgot to do that, so it's on me. So, with that said, that means Waydark, or Waydark, Gems New here. This series is a uh, star, if you will, <laughs> the character that I'm doing for this series as a uh, necromancer that is a newbie kind of guy. I, uh, I got to set his stuff back up a little bit, what little I had not set up. But I'm about to show you, this is kind of an instructional thing on how you do this in EverQuest. This gear up here is the options for the game. Click on that. And right here, what they call load UI skin, and then they have something that says copy layout. You want to hit what I'm going to do. Not everybody can do this, but uh, I'm going to do that. And as you can see, this 
is a mage that I have. But that way dark is set up right here. I don't want to pick the window. Not for some reason, when you first install uh, a request, it starts out in windowed mode. I was playing full screen mode. So there's this. So you click on that, and then it has loadouts, which I'm not entirely clear on exactly what that is, but I always hit that. And this has hot buttons, which are these buttons in the hop and the bars down here. Um, I'm gonna hit that, and just for kicks, I'm gonna hit, am I gonna hit socials? Uh, no, I'm not even gonna do the hot buttons. I'm just gonna leave it at the loadout though, because I think the loadouts is like how many extra bars you put on, the color changes. I think that's the other type of specializations. The socials is what they call um, <clears throat> what I call macros. Macro buttons that you know that you set up. If it would copy all the all of Wade Arcs over to this guy. And the hot buttons I think is um, these configurations here with this stuff. Let's see what happens. The great thing about it is if I just have loadouts here and I do it and it doesn't look what I look like I think I want it to, I think it's gonna if it doesn't do what I think it's gonna do it'll uh, you can always go back and you can do it again and then you can add the other options over here I'm proceeding uh, it's got some crap it's got to do and lo and behold look at this a much cleaner experience as they say i just have to do some minor adjustments these bars right here never go they never get adjusted like these are so i have to adjust their size and I have to stretch them out now in order to do that i have to unlock them so i unlocked them and i like 130 for my button size Move that across there button size do that. Put that across there. Now I'm just going to re-lock them in place again so they don't get accidentally moved around. Okay, this right here is where the pet stuff would be. I don't, I'm not using the pet on this little newbie guy that's only level 8. I haven't used the pet yet, so I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to worry about it. You know. I'm not going to stretch anything out. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> now, I need to remind myself um, I got, okay, looks like I got spells, I got a few extra things, looks like I got plenty of uh, food and water, at least for this recording anyway. I haven't used these gear options quite yet, I want to wait at least to level 10 before I get desperate enough for defiant gear. And as, as you remember, I'm looking for Defiant gear. Um, I think last time I promised that I would go to Crush, but we're in that area, so I need to make good. I need to make good on that promise. And we have our warrior buddy here that is going to help protect us a lot better than a pet cut at this stage. And what we would do? I'm not quite sure. Uh, see, this is the plane of knowledge, and in the plane of knowledge, they have little areas that look like sort of like tombstones, or you know, something you'd see in a in a um, cemetery or something kind of. And what you do is these are portals. You click on it, and it'll send you wherever it says, right? You're relatively aligned. Now, if you're not sure, like I want to go to Crushbone. I know that is in Greater Fadark. That's the name of the zone. So what you do is you click Find, go all the way down to the bottom where it says these zone connections here, okay? And I am looking for Greater Fadark. And it has Greater Fadark 1 and 2. I happen to know that Greater Fadark 1 is near the High Elf City. Greater Fadark 2 is near the Wood Elf City. And I've done that, and a mythical, a mythical path 
this before me that I do not see. Oh, there it is right there. Um, you will notice that uh, the graphics look like they should. There's no graphics glitches. Does it sound like I'm slightly annoyed that uh, Linux can't uh, get some of the stuff right in gaming? I am, but the bottom line is this is an old game. What the, the strides they've made in... And the name of the Wood Elf City is Kelvin, so you know this is it. Um, so there we go. I'm going to go here. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're quite ready for the orcs of Crushbone, but we will give it a shot. What we want to do is, I'm not sure if the Wood Elves are going to like me. I don't think they are. Even though I'm a gnome, uh, I don't think the Wood Elves are going to dig me all that much. As you can see, you can see some orcs here. Pawns are the lowest. Okay, so um, what we also do, we go to the map. I've installed maps on this. Uh, Crushbone is to the north. And it's to the north. It's just rock and roll. This is kind of a horrible map. All these maps are pretty horrible. That is one change if they were going to commit resources to. If they're going to have a map system anyway, you may as well just stop playing around and commit to it and actually have maps. And when they get into 64-bit versions and stuff, um, well, these are blue. Seems to me like they ought to be able to, they ought to do it, right? Let's kill some of these for a while, see how hard they are. Ah, crap, okay, let's just do this. Okay, we got two. I guess I do have a bone walk. I do have a pet. Why don't I have a pet? That is too bad. There we go. Go get him. Do I have cloth pants? I do. That's a never. Just gonna never on those. Ooh, he's toughy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. As a caster, I'm never gonna melee. Oops, somebody else. Sandals, I need sandals. Do I need anything? I need a back item and arms. And maybe a ring, I guess. Alright. Send 
Centurion. That one guy was yellow. I'm going to summon a pet just to help out a little bit. Now later I would want to have him on top. Right now he's just a little extra DPS. I'm just going to leave him on the follow. And that's it. Let's see what it looks like. He looks like a, just kind of a regular skeleton there. All right. Oh boy. I'm being a little reckless because it doesn't matter as much right now. One thing I am missing is a pet attack button. Later on, there are extra crap. I will set up a social. attack. So that's what I prefer to do. Slash pet attack. Things are very basic right now. And that's how that goes. I don't have a lot of uh, extra tools to mess with. This feels very powerful. I think I might at least go to the entrance. Uh, south, I'm going to go north. Uh oh, am I gonna run into some bad guys? Probably am. Yep. Whoa, there's lots of them. Come 
on, dude. That's right, get some aggro. The pets are less controllable at this level. But, <clears throat> see, as, as I, you can tell, this pet is pretty, you know, and I can't tell the Merc exactly who to attack. I just got to leave it on him to hopefully save the pet, and we'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, he killed the pet. Guess. I'm sorry. That's my favorite daddy words. <laughs> Gonna make another bone walk. Okay, made another one. Thankfully, I have enough bone chips. What the heck is going on here? Where are you crazy nutbags that going, man? Dang gum. What the heck was that? Boy. basically just dotting stuff up and just kind of enjoying my time here. He's probably coming after me. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Hello. Somebody going to get the aggro back there. You're just going to let me face tank. Do your job there, Sadlaban. Sadlaban. You goofy Gus, you. I have to leave that one. I don't care about that. We're grinders. We just repetitively kill orcs and other things like this to get our experience. You get a little richer. There they go again. What the heck, man? Why is it? Well, what's up? What is wrong with the pathing? I mean, holy crapola. You know what I probably should do is set uh, my Merc as a main tank, but eh. at this level it's not going to be a huge amount of difference. Okay, so let's do something. The question, you saw the pathing was just wacky, wonko pathing over here, right? Well, it's just as bad inside Crushbound. It is so bad and it's gone you know, over 20 years without really getting fixed, it makes you think, you know what? That's kind of intended. Or it was a happy accident that they've kind of used as a mechanism to um, balance things out. Okay. These pawns are notorious. Being runners. Fast runners, by the way, too. Faster than my pet, as you just saw, even with a speed reducing thing I had on him. 
So you want to get those guys, get them out of the way. Because if you don't, see, he's just running now. You see, you see the Merc was like spinning around. Look at my pet just going crazy. It's just trying to find me to follow and as a, the pathing with the it's predetermined paths depending on what the starting points are in these zones. It's the paths that the that NPCs, non-player characters are able to go. Player characters, you know, you can't restrict them like that. And for non-player characters, they are often restricted in their movements. It's called pathing. And it's, it's I think it's like an AI thing. And, uh, so as we're seeing here, we're in the mighty Crushbone old school zone. You get faction for killing the orcs. And at this level, experience in faction is really all you get from the quests that you can do or tasks. And frankly, it's all, it's like that all the way through vanilla. The first three or four X-Packs took a long time before they realized people were really unhappy. They feel like they're getting a raw deal. Ooh, see those are red. Yeah, we're not going to go after those. They're red. Probably could and should, but not, this is near the end of this recording. i got like three minutes left. I'm not going to Go crazy with it. I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to go ahead and hang out here. I'm on a zone here. worth it anyway this is the first time back at the sound if my voice is too loud um, I'm gonna review it and also it's not absolutely crazy bad I'm just gonna upload it just to get something up there <clears throat> I'll tinker it see what you think people think it's a little louder or soft or too soft or whatever it sounds too tinty I tried OBS sound like I was in a tin can I didn't like it I tried the stuff within Windows, and when I tested it and I checked out the recording, it sounded actually pretty good. It sounded just like me, if that's a, you know, it was me, not in a tin, a tin can. So I was like, this is better. Okay. Out with OBS, just onward with the stuff right in Windows. So. <clears throat> If I can get, I don't know if I can get Kaden live on Windows or not to uh, edit stuff whenever I eventually discipline myself to really learn uh, how to do some fancier edits, get a, uh, maybe use GIMP or something to try to make a more customized, more customized sort of uh, splash screens for uh, the beginning of videos and whatnot. There's lots of stuff I recognize I needed to kind of do, well, kind of learn, just for myself to learn how to do. But uh, I haven't quite yet. It's kind of busy. Anyway, but that's on my list. Eventually I'll kind of get around to it. Uh, this is Crushbone in EverQuest 1. And eventually you're going to... Uh, see what the world's going to evolve and look like when they do the 64-bit patch. When is that going to be? I say early next year. Which sounds like a long time. It's December. Next year is next month. Early next year is anywhere between January and March. <clears throat> so I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Uh, but for right now, I guess... This is a good start and get back. Hope everybody else, again, I don't know if I said this before, but hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, if you didn't have a great Thanksgiving, maybe a lot of family members arguing, maybe you got ticked off about something or whatever, well, you know, I hope.
hope it was at least entertaining at some point. <laughs> and maybe the best thing to be thankful about is that it was over. It's over now. So that could be thankful. <laughs> you could be thankful Thanksgiving's over, right? All your drunken relatives are out of, out of your hair and all kinds of stuff. So there you go. This is Elwood EQ. I'll see you next time. Signing out. Thank <laughs> you.